8.46 a.m., New York City, New York. American Airlines Flight 11 is allegedly flown into the North Tower by Mohammed Atta. This is the widely known video of the attack, shot by Jules Nade. At face value, it may not look like much. However, upon closer inspection, in case you missed it, one more time. If you look closely, you'll notice that the shadow of the plane meets the building after the flash occurs. This means that the flash is not the fuselage colliding with the building, but rather a separate event. Not to mention that the flash is twice as wide as the fuselage itself. Within minutes of the attack, news teams from all over the city had their cameras trained on the World Trade Center. Therefore, the second impact was covered by almost every conceivable angle. This footage was shot by CNN. On the underside of the fuselage, an extra piece of equipment is visible. When questioned about this, Boeing representatives refused to discuss it due to national security. This is what the underside of a Boeing 767 should look like. The following footage is taken from the documentary, Why the Towers Fell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bring it back. Did you catch that? A missile is fired seconds before impact. Skeptics claim that the flash is the fuselage colliding with the building. If that were the case, it would look like this. Also, notice that the flash is reflected in the fuselage of the plane. The flash is also present in footage taken by Evan Fairbanks, Jennifer Spell, and CNN. Al-Qaeda certainly couldn't have added this equipment at Logan International Airport. And even if they did, the flight crew would have noticed it. So where did this plane come from?